today, or my name is Judy Bruner, and uh, I am here with, at the, my sister's house, Janice Wesley, and uh, what we're doing today is we are preparing for Thanksgiving Thursday, and uh, we're making stack cakes. And uh, for anyone that doesn't know it, stack cake was a, a tradition that was in all the homes many years ago. Everybody loved having stack cakes, not only at Thanksgiving, but at Christmas. So we're gonna be making uh, stack cakes. And uh, Beverly Smith, June Woodyard, and Janice are gonna be here uh, as, uh, as we're making them and helping. I've got a lot of good help today. And uh, the recipes that we're gonna be using are gonna be uh, Beverly's grandmother's recipe and David's grandmother's recipe, cake recipes, and uh, they both are, are a little bit different. Uh, David's grandmother's, which is the one that I've used for the last couple of years, is the Kentucky Stack Cake, and Beverly's grandmother says grandmother's old-fashioned stack cake. And Beverly's grandmother, she uses uh, self-rising flour and buttermilk, and David's uh, grandmother's uh, cake uses all-purpose flour and a cup of butter and a, half, a fourth a cup of milk. That the recipe, it's called the Kentucky Stack Cake and it, uh, it calls for a cup of sorghum or molasses, a cup of butter, one cup of sugar, four cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of cloves, one half teaspoon of soda, fourth a cup of milk, and four large eggs. Now, I want to say this, and I'm not going to charge you all a dime for this. Okay. Not a dime, as my preacher says. Instead of the cloves and all such as that, I always use the apple pie filling. If it calls for a half a teaspoon, I put a half teaspoon. If it calls for a half teaspoon of cloves and a half teaspoon of... Uh, Another, uh, I always just look at that and I say, okay, that'd be a teaspoon of this. This is your friendly flavoring, I think. That's me. Yes, you do what you want to do. Okay, in um, my mixing bowl, I already have a cup of the cup of sugar. The recipe calls for you to add your butter, and your butter should be at room temperature. And I'm... And of course, as everyone already knows, a cup of butter is two sticks of butter. All oh, right, and but, yeah, but, yeah, I have the measuring cup. That's an overflowing cup of milk. Now, I'm gonna give you another little tip and it's free. Uh, one of the greatest things you can do before you put your molasses in your mixing cup is to spray it with a little bit of, uh, well, Pam or whatever you use. It makes that molasses, and I still say sorry, it makes that sorry keep it in your mouth. I'm doing all these cute things and she don't have me on there. Lord have mercy, I only know so many, so many things. That's ready to use then. Okay, Booch. Hey, I got, I got this hey, Booch. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, mix that. Oh, In here? We're doing that the mixer? What the purpose of sifting? Here, here. It refines your flour. It gets it finer. Okay. Janice wants her sifted. Okay, now, Beverly, no, we need to put uh, four, four of our eggs in there. Oh, boy. Those are the big, the big golden ones. And your milk. Here's your milk. I'm coming over here. You got it, girl. <laughs> That's easy. I love those big brown eggs. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, this uh, flour here needs to be added whenever that, that gets mixed good. Just a quick way, and I'm gonna. Uh, okay, we've got the sorghum, we got the butter, we have the sugar, we have the flour, we have the baking powder, we have the. Okay, let's do it just a few minutes. And we'll do that right now. Thank you.
girl? Just let it in. Beverly, this is beautiful, beautiful Bible. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it may be. Hey, did you hear? Did you hear Debbie Gilbert the other day on my box and she's calling those numbers and she says seventy-five. I'm glad I'm not that old. Did you just say that? No, I, I want him. I want him to depression. <laughs> oh, listen here. What a thing to say. Let me tell you. Well, let me bring you out of depression. Yeah. <clears throat> So, since we're using sugar and cinnamon and molasses, you have heard the little mole joke. So, there were these three little moles, and they were burying through their hole one Saturday morning, and they smelled somebody cooking stack cake. Uh -huh. And one goes, I think I smell sugar. And the one behind it said, I think I smell cinnamon. And the one that was at the very back end said, all I smell is a little bit of mole asses. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, I want to know something. Is that what you learned in Washington? Did you go up to Washington <laughs> to learn that code? I'm going to do this, not much, but this one. Uh, see this? Now. Her fingerprint. She, well, she touched it all the way down, yeah. And, uh, but, and if, we, if this was that consistency of dough, we could too. But it's not. So, Judy, that will make three. Uh, six. It, it will make six. That recipe six, makes uh -huh. six layers. Six and layers. And I'm telling you, it's a big cake by the time you get through. And uh, now I, I made one last night. Or Sunday is our church homecoming. And so I made one last night and uh, got it already soaking. And uh, when I say uh, chicken, hey, you know, well, yeah, the apples need to soak. And uh, this morning I checked on it and oh my goodness, it didn't smell like pumpkin to me, let me tell you what. It smelled like apples and um, Now, Judder, yes. do you all, do you know what kind of t or top apples you're going to have? Do you have your apples already cooked? or? So, we've got one that we're getting ready to bring out now, which was David's grandmother's recipe, and put them in the cake racks, and we're getting ready to put Beverly's grandmother's together, and with hers, we're going to be rolling out the pans for that. We're going to be rolling the cake dough out. And with that one, you'll have a, uh, Beverly's grandmother's recipe is more of the cookie, uh, the cookie uh, type uh, stack cake, which is delicious. For um, Grandma Wesley's is more the little bitty cake. And uh, has any of them come out yet? Yeah. How are they doing? You're talking about five layers. Now that's going to be five. That's a big cake, let me tell you. But it is delicious, and uh, especially uh, as you, as everyone knows, uh, that with the stack cake, you uh, use apples, dry apples, or apple butter, or uh, cook apples, and put your cinnamon and your apple. Uh, I love using the apple. 
high filling because it has all the ingredients that you need in there. Sugar to flavor your apples. And you put that in between each layer. You also, at the very end, put some on your hands, your clean hands, take it around your cake, and then on the top so that it can all soak in. Now, I want to also tell you this. I heard this, and I find this fascinating. Uh, when I first started making stack cakes, uh, I was told that you stack the cakes upside down on top of each other. That blew my mind. And uh, But I was that's what I done. Every year I made stack cakes or any in between when I make for somebody to take to them, I turn those cakes upside down except for the last one. And you always pick your prettiest cake that comes out of that oven as your top layer. As, and uh, But anyway, we're going to continue on with Beverly's mother's grandma, and I'm going to let her do the... Uh, oh, you go right here. Uh, well, well, I'll do this and you do the... Okay, you got our cake pans ready? What cake pans? You got it? Okay, all right. I'm watching now. me. Okay, Beverly, yes, let's get our... Uh, Okay, yours, let's see, she said, mix all ingredients together, great. Now, according to this, Oh, we have made this this yeah. cake recipe here, which is Beverly's granny's <laughs> recipe. The batter feels very good, very good. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but when you can, it's gonna it's gonna go it's gonna pat out good. We've made us a um, little pile of flour here, and we have uh, put us some out, and I've added we're just kind of um, kind of made us a little patty here. Now Beverly's going to put it in the pan. We're going to show you when, when she gets it in the pan. This is great. Try it, girl. Put your yeah. hand. Put your on my hand. Put your flour on my hand. Yeah, when grandmothers would bake, you could see her fingerprints on the top of the cake. Yeah. yeah. Great, this is great. I don't know if you can see the fingerprints, but there All are. All right, there's one. And uh, those fingerprints, uh, Mrs. Beverly's. This is great. This is for you, grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> and her grandmother was Aunt Tiny. Aunt Tiny. I know it won't be as good as hers, but. And Aunt Tiny wasn't any taller than what Beverly is. <laughs> she okay? I know me and her looks like the jolly green <laughs> <laughs> giant. No. I love this, Beverly. I love this. We have learned something here today, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Anytime you can learn, well, anytime you can learn something. Oh, my goodness. Brenda Gant, you'd be so proud of us if you could see what we've done today. We've used what we've had. Slam it on there. This pretty much two layers. Oh, I've got well, a feeling. Hers. I've got a feeling. We're going to have enough cake here for. Grandmothers did have a lot of layers. How many we expect? The true one will have what? Nine or at least eleven. So will so you put these in? Tell me how they can them. make a a apple stack cake super simple if they don't want that thing to hang. The one that we use, well, super simple would be taking a spice cake mix. Okay, there's something even simpler that you don't have to cook. Uh, graham crackers, and now I have heard, I have, now I've not ever done it, I've been at luncheons before where they have done that, and that is that you take graham crackers, and you can either either use applesauce, or you can use the pie mixture, uh, if you use pie mixture, chop it up, and then put your 
flavors in it, such as the pie mixture, or okay. yes, not the uh, pie mixture, but the uh, allspice and uh, the pie, uh, apple, pie. apple pie, yes, the apple pie. Uh, now mine's dry. Mm -hmm. I cooked mine yesterday. Yeah. These are yeah. fresh apples that are put in the dehydrator. And you could use those right there if you have plenty of those, you know, if you want to do that. But uh, you can also get cinnamon yeah. braid crackers. Uh huh. And then when you do that, you just try to prep, you do layers, layers of cookies slash apple, cookies slash apple. Yes. And then wrap it in cellophane or plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator and it softens up and it has a similar taste. And let me say this that one of the keys using the graham crackers or these right here is making them a day or two ahead so that, that all that apple can soak and uh, soak up your, the one that we're doing now, I consider the cookie, the cookie style, and that's wonderful. The one that we did earlier was a little bit more cakier, but either either one, you want it to uh, pickle bed. Okay. I'm telling you what, we got a, we got a stack cake factory going here, and, And the main thing is... Are you liking the dough better, Judy? I love the dough. The reason I love the dough is, number one, self-rising flour. You, you know, anything that's easier. And you don't have to sip. That's a great. Number two, buttermilk in anything is great. And then the handling so far. I'm so thankful that we uh, did that we did try this. I tried to get Beverly for, you know, to do this at first, and <laughs> she was going to be nice and didn't want to because she got to seeing how good it was to get to be the boss for the first time. Oh, and Lord. can you imagine how she's going to be dead and go, get out of here? Bye. All right. Slap it. How many we got so far? This is six. You're pulling my leg. We got enough for... Gonna have enough to heaven. Let me tell you what we're gonna have. So right. he'll be up there in heaven. We got uh, three in that other oven. And here's three for the next oven. Let's see. I'm gonna light a little sweater in here. It may not taste like grandma's, but it sure does look like her little fingers does in it? there. Well, well there's I'm one sure they won't be as good. I bet it will taste like well, I'll have sweater. you to know we won't accept that. Okay. We are fixing to make an old fashioned apple stack cake. I'm Beverly Smith, this is Judy Gruner, and we are with IDOT Communities, which we thoroughly enjoy, and we're here at Janice Weston's house. As long as we're in, as long as we're <laughs> in. And we uh, keep the big board and call on Friday here at Janice's. And so today we, um, Judy came over to graciously help out. I've never made this, it's my grandmother's recipe, um, but I have peeled the apples, I dehydrated them. This is the old fashioned dried apples. And I'm making my very first apple stack cake from my grandmother's recipe. It won't be as good, but we're giving it our best shot. So these are just little like flat cakes and you can actually see the fingerprints. In. That's what I remember the most about the apple stack cakes is grandmother's fingerprints in the top of the cake when she mashed them out. Be very generous, because that's so it soaked that in. Soaked yes, in. yes, okay. buddy. Now Judy's an old pro at it. Yeah, that's enough on that. Yeah, just take that, spread that around through there. Yes. She's been making them for years. Yep. I never was brave enough to do it. No, I believe I put me a little bit more right there. Yeah, because you you weren't. She's got ten layers. Got ten layers. Okay, she's got. You. Oh well, yeah. that's perfect. And when you see one, you need to look at the front of every one of them to see which one's a pretty one. Because that, uh, from yeah, the top. so it's from the top. Or I do. And this right here, the one that's coming up, looks like it may be a pretty one. Okay. Now these apples come out of local trees. Janice and David gave me some. And I have another cousin, Carol Vander, who plays bingo sometimes. And she, she and Morse gave me some apples and I dehydrate them, and then I mostly make fried apple pies with mine. Like I said, I, I, I've got that mastered, but the apple stack cake, I have never tried.
right. And you're doing a great job. She's almost there. Let's see about that. Oh, that's a pretty one. I mean, that's that's pretty. Okay. So the ugly one goes here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying I always look for the pretty one, you know. Uh, you see how, do you, okay, take a look at that one. That just looks so. On top. Yeah. Well, that's what I need. I need these little secrets. Does your mom make these, Debbie? My mom does make those. In fact, she was telling me yesterday that she had run into someone at the grocery store who she used to make them for school auctions. Oh. And the Parmans would always bid whatever it took to get mom's apple stack cake. I and she ran cute. into Miss Parman this week and asked her, she asked, would she make them one? Is <laughs> that right? So, so just so you know, these apple stack cakes, if they go for auction, they usually go for around a hundred dollars. Yes, they do. And Mr. Parman pays my mother a hundred dollars for making it's worth apple it. stack. It cakes. is well worth it. It is well worth it. Yes. Well, by the time you dry the apples and do all the preliminary work in the summer, you've got a lot of time uh, before you even start. That's exactly right. Yeah. Now, David and Janice use apple butter. Uh huh. But there, I mean, he, he does it himself. It's homemade apple butter. Well, and, and apple butter like that, it's it's kind of that dark. It's like a lot of dried apples. Yeah. Uh, so it tastes very similar. Yeah, to it us. has the same ingredient. I mean, yes. uh, apple butter has the same thing as what you would put in and here. And the same flavor. Exactly. Now, for some reason, it seemed like grandmother's cakes were darker. She probably baked them long. You can get yours as dark as you want it. Well, yeah. you know, molasses, you can also get what's called black strap Absolutely. molasses. And some of the older people would cook with black strap. It's a, It's been cooked longer. It's stronger. And so that could, you know, the molasses color. A lot of the molasses today are not as dark as molasses used to be when I was a kid even. Yeah, that could be it. I don't know. Just from memory, because my grandmother's been gone a long time. Uh -huh. But it seems like I remember her cakes, the cake itself being dark, uh -huh. but it could be the molasses. Well, my mother's dried apples are darker than those. And that could also be... The amount uh, of what you could Well, put. it could be also the type of apple that you're drying, you know, uh, because apples are different. Yes, they are. Some of them I love these. This, these dark and saw reds that David raised. Oh, they are such cook friendly, and I love using them. Beverly, that is going to be beautiful. It is absolutely going to be beautiful. It is beautiful. Now, I made a old-fashioned cookie. We call it the cookie, uh -huh. where you roll it out. It's it's like this. You patted yours out. I've made it and rolled it out, and I made one one year that was seventeen cookie layers. Get out of here. And it was a big cake. I took a plate. Uh, I took a 10 inch, inch plate and cut around that plate after I rolled it flat and then put it on the baking sheet. So it was a very big cake. I think I'm going to quit. I don't know if I have enough apples to keep growing them layers. Well, you've got three more layers. Just keep going as long as you got it. Well, you're not. You're never going to stop right yeah. here with this one in I order to so. get uh, a good topping. To, yeah, but what we can do is uh, we'll, we can make a a little one. Well, we Remember? can make a little one out of apple butter, and that way we could eat it. Yeah, I could have a half <laughs> one, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, hey, we need this one, because I'm eating mine. I ain't saving it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, it needs to set, though. The, well, the one true. where they well, set, set, set the same if dirt. you set them, people would set them in a cold room or in a that's cellar, right. and uh, they would chill. And you can also put them in the refrigerator, and the apples will just, the juice will seep right down through the cakes. And makes it makes a super moist cake. Yeah, so Does your goes. mom ever keep hers for <laughs> four or five days? Yes. 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 If you do, though, yeah, you do you know, have to keep them in the refrigerator is. or they'll you put mold. Yourself on the top. Yeah. Spread it. Yeah. In the now we don't then usually you put. Them down. We don't spread usually. That as far as so much to go. But you want to put some on your hand, and then take it around to your hand, and put all the way around here with your hand to put apples on there, so you can get all this soggy. Yeah, yeah, and what you do, you use never your hand. That one. Yeah, yeah you I've, never heard, I've never heard that it's either. It's pretty both ways. It looks pretty where you can see all the little apples. But you, you do it any way you want to, okay? I'm just, yeah. yeah. 
Everybody has good I think I would do that. Do now, you? my mom doesn't put apples on the top layer. Okay. She she just right. uses it with a cake part on the top layer. Well, I still got one I can put on. <laughs> put it on there then. Put it on there. Uh, Jill, do you have any dried apples? I've got some. No. I'll cook you some to put on yours. I just started to say I've got one. Big no, jar I've got some. I'll cook you some and bring them to you. Now, if everybody gets you enough one, or you got you, but you don't put all of them on it. You don't want to do your sides by grains. Use your other two over there. But everybody started to say was, I think when you dry apples in the hydrator, they don't get as dark. They don't. When they either. sun dry them, that's why ours is always so dark. And I, they I agree it, with and that. Too. You know, it was funny when I was a kid. You put them in your back of your car with, window yeah. and drive around forever you with your, beans, your, beans your wind, too, yes. your apples in your so, back yeah. rear window. Do I want to leave it like that, or do I want to lean on? Apples you got with. If you put a lid on it with no apples, you can. Has she got enough for one more them. layer? Yeah. Uh, put that one on, and then put that one on the top, or put that one on the top. I don't have enough. I don't have enough apples to do that. Okay. I mean, see. Yeah. Well, I'll make a little one on there. We'll just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. she needs two layers. Then she got me to put that top on there. <laughs> Look at that. I wouldn't crazy. do anything to that. Oh, yeah. I beautiful. would absolutely keep that. Let me. I All saw right. one. Yes, a plate. Let's put this on here. All right. Uh, I, I saw a picture of a of one on one. I was looking while ago, and they sprinkled a little kind of sugar on top just to make it look like a fancy little sweet dessert or something. It looked pretty that way too. I have to go get plates on there. That, that is fabulous. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, line, uh, yeah, layers, yeah. I would have. Oh, yeah, it's all right. Oh, we'll eat this. Let's we'll taste We're going to eat, taste. we're going to eat cake number 10 right here in front of everybody. We're going to have us a little taste. Good. <laughs> You're here just in time, This Ms. is Janice. our taster. Have you ever seen such a beautiful cake Isn't in your pretty? life? There you go. I like fabulous. It. Well, look over there on the table. There's a pretty fabulous one over there. I know, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to taste this? Yeah. Uh, Get a pizza cutter. Get a pizza cutter and you can just roll right through it. <laughs> Are you going to be able to get your cake top on there? No. We'll She's not putting it. apples on the very top layer. She's going to leave hers like that. That would be fine. I yeah. just wondered if oh, okay. a carrier. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, thank you. Probably needs more apples on it, but that's okay. No, And plus, it's going to be better. When they once, soak. Yeah, once they soak. Yeah, they got to soak because the cake's dry. Yeah. Are you tasting? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm tasting, and then I'm going home to take an insulin shot. <laughs> when it's set, I hope my daughter oh. never watches this. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And the apples are just sweet enough. Mm -hmm. They're they're really tart apples, mm -hmm. but I think the tart ones make better. Mm -hmm. It's worth a shot, Debbie. Mm -hmm. It's worth a shot. <laughs> yep, but you're going to get the metformin out. I can tell you something else. <laughs> and we can't explain it. But why? Because they, they taste so delicious during this time of year. I know. It just seems it's like. It's the fall of the. It goes with the time. It goes with Thanksgiving. It goes with Christmas. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be better when the cake gets moist. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Jamie what we were doing. He said, oh, Mom, tell so, you some. Sum up the end of this session, Judy. I just got to figure out how to keep it. For our group. All right. Okay, we've just tasted okay. our hard work today, and we're very pleased. We're very pleased. And uh, I think that we've all, when we leave here today, have, uh, are going to be leaving with a lot of things, not only our cake, but recipes. A wonderful time, a wonderful memory with everybody. Friendship. And, mm -hmm. and here's the last thing we want to say. Thanksgiving. 
Have a great Thanksgiving, and may God give everyone blessings over these holidays. See you at I got. See you at Bingo Mania. Ha ha ha.